What's going on, people? It's your boy Scoop, and the day has come. The stream deck tutorial for OBS. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, if you're not familiar with the stream deck, it's basically it's basically this this little device here that all these little buttons you can basically set it for presets, audio toggles, scenes, gifs websites launching applications the whole nine but today only we're going to be basically just focusing on obs and how you set it up all right so without further ado let's get into it all right so i have obs open you see my sources here is overlay hd 60 pro at 2020 which is my microphone and that's up under the scene right i also created a pc scene so i can show you guys on how to make you know different buttons for each scene so the first thing we're going to do we're going to go over here to scene we're going to click on it we're going to drag it to the first one right all right so whenever we get on obs and we want to go to this specific scene we want to go ahead and have the collection is going to be video and the scene is just going to be seen and the collection is basically up here which is video right there all right so let's i mean you can name it if you want to i choose not to sometimes i just i basically get my my logo to be exactly what it's supposed to be so but if you wanted to you can name this um let's say scene and remember it, you can only put so many characters in there before it starts looking crazy all right which is why i don't really put names on mine but for now we're going to name this one scene right so let's go ahead and change this icon because we don't we don't really like the preview icon right so let's click the scene Let's go to my pictures and let's go to where my stream deck pictures are. All right, now for this one, let's go ahead and set it as, let's just say, um, let's just put the Elgato logo. Let's put it for that one. Because this, this, this is my PS4 right here. So let's put the Elgato logo there. All right. So for the next one, let's go ahead and drag another scene over. But this time, we're not going to use scene. We're going to put it as PC, right? so let's change this icon as well let's change it to let's say pc the pc gaming logo i think i have on here as well where is it a pc gamer all right and when you're changing these logos is actually changing on your stream deck as well all right so now that we have that set up let's go ahead and try it on the stream deck itself let's push pc let's push elgato and boom just like that it's that simple that's how you switch back and forth between scenes all right all right so now let's go ahead and toggle mixer audio all right so let's put this here for this one let's toggle the mic let's say the at 2020 right all right and for this one let's change our icon i have a mic mute button that's on here already which is this one open and that changes it also on my stream deck all right let's click here all right, so let's go ahead and push the button on the stream deck itself, and you'll go ahead and see the AT2020 in OBS mute itself. All right, so let's go ahead and push it. Boom, it's muted. It's back on. Mute it. It's back on. And it's just that simple, man. I mean, people think it's hard to set up the stream deck. It's, it's absolutely not. It's the easiest thing since sliced bread, people. All right, so next on the list is sources. Let's click. Let's drag sources here. On the collection again, it's gonna be video because that's the one right here that we're working with. The scene is still gonna be this scene right here, and the AT2020. Let's go ahead and change that to the HD60 Pro. Like I said, sources you can basically toggle anything that's in this sources column right here. All right, so let's change this icon since it's the HD60 Pro. Let's change the icon to let's say a camera. No camera. All right, there we go. So let's change it to that one. All right, let's click off of the icon itself. And now, let's go ahead and show it to you on the stream deck right here. All right, so let's go ahead and hit on the HD60 Pro icon. Boom. Boom. It's, that's it. And that's the toggle your HD60 Pro. All right, so let's go ahead and show you guys how to set up GIFs inside of OBS. A lot of people have been dying to know. Um, so let's go ahead and go through it step by step. First thing we have to do is create a source. So we want to go down and hit the plus icon. Let's click on Media Source. And let's name it yeah all right we want to put it on loop because we want to still be able to see the video running so that we can crop in and put it where we wanted to want it to pop up when we actually toggle that preset all right so let's hit browse here let's go ahead and let's get um let's get tom cruise top gun yeah all right so let's hit okay here 
Let's drag it down here. This is where I want to put it. Just, just put it where you guys want yours to show up at. And if you have an overlay, if you want to put it behind the overlay, just slide it down in the source list. All right. So now what we want to do, let's go ahead to the year here and let's turn it off. All right. So now let's come over to the Stream Deck software. Let's drag the source icon here or wherever, whichever button you want to drag it to. We still under the video collection. We still under the scene scene. And let's change the source to yeah. All right. And go ahead and change the icon to whatever you want. I'm just going to put anything right now. Let's just change it to this one. Nah, let's just put this one. All right. So now that we've gotten that done, let's come over to the Stream Deck. This is the icon, which is probably dark. Maybe I should change that icon. Let's change that icon so you guys can see it. Let's change it to this one. All right. So that's the icon now. So we just come over here and let's just click it. And that's pretty much it. You can keep it going. You can loop it. Keep it looping forever. Just remember to turn it off. <laughs> All right. So. So the next thing we want to tackle green screen gifts, how to create them, how to get them in the OBS, how to take the background out, how to toggle them. All right. So let's get into it. I already have my OBS. Well, not OBS. I already have my videos downloaded with the green screen background. So I use Sony Vegas, whatever video editing software of your choice. It doesn't it what whichever one. All right. So Sony Vegas is opening up. I'm going to go to file, open, and I'm just going to hit on this one. All right. Now this video was usually longer. It was, it was longer. What I did was all I did was cut off all the excess meat of the video and only kept the part I wanted. Right? So once you're done with that, just go ahead to your, your regular file render, name it, whatever you guys want to name it. Right? Just go ahead and name it, whatever you guys want to name it. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. So I'm going to exit out of Sony Vegas. I'm going to come here. I'm going to hit on media source, right? I'm going to name this, let's say, Van Damme. All right, so let's loop it. So whenever we get it into OBS, we can go ahead and crop it and move it where we want to. Let's go back here to YouTube where we saved it at. And let's hit on John. Hit on OK. This is it right here, all right? Now that we're here, we want to go ahead and right click on it. Let's go down to filters. Let's hit the plus icon here. Let's go to chroma key. It's going to automatically be set to green here. If you're satisfied with that, just go ahead and close. That's going to be the gift still running in the background, right? Let's just go ahead here and let's crop him. All right, let's say we want them to run over here and boom, boom, specials, right? So now that that's done, just unclick it, come over to the Stream Deck software, drag source, go down here. We want to change this to Van Damme. And which, like I said again, whichever one you guys want, whether or not you have a logo or not, whether or not you want to create one, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put anything for this one. All right. We want to come over here to the stream deck again. All right. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? And it's as easy as that, people. It don't don't overthink the stream deck. It's simple. And you can do this for everything, for everything. Let's go ahead and turn it off. You can also do the same thing to your PC scene as well. Let's switch to the PC scene. That's it right there. All you have to do basically now, since you have it in the collection is go here to media source, existing Van Dam. slide it how you guys want it. Just keep in mind, any scene that you make, you have to have a button for that particular scene and it has to be the source of that scene. You can't just use one scene's button and expect it to work on another scene because the button isn't hotkeyed for that other scene. All right. So now that we have the PC scene and we want to set up this John, this, this John Claude Van Damme GIF. All right. This is what I recommend. If you have gifts that are specific for one scene, I recommend getting the GIF, clicking on it, dragging it to the other GIF right here. And if that's the GIF for PS4, let's just name it PS4 GIFs, right? And go ahead, click on it. 
get your icon of your choice let's just go ahead and get the playstation icon click on it now those are my ps4 gifts right now that we have the ps4 gifts let's go ahead and click on this drag a source here collection still gonna be video but this time instead of collecting selecting scene we want to go ahead and select pc the source is going to be van damme right let's click here you can you can have the same image if you want to or different is up to you guys let's hit there so now since we have that set up let's go ahead back to the stream deck you see this is our folder that we created already for the ps4 gifts now this is the pc gift all right so let's click on it that's the pc gifts and just to show you guys that it would not work for the other scenes let's click on the ps4 gift right let's click on the eat one nothing happens because this one is hot keyed for the ps4 scene so let's go ahead and go back to the ps4 scene right so let's go back to the ps4 gift folder now let's click on the eat one see it works because it's hot key for that particular scene let's unclick it. all right people so the last thing i'm gonna show you guys how to do is to go here and do your hot keys when i say hot keys i mean go to file settings and I, you see i only use four i only use to start streaming stop streaming start recording stop recording all right and how you set those up are you can go ahead and click on which one you want like here you would click on it and i use alt number one on the keypad right so what you'll do is you'll click in here you push alt and one right so that and, and, and that's it that's all you do once you do that you hit apply on all the ones that you want to create hit okay here so what you want to do next you want to come over here to the stream deck you want to go down to hot key switch drag it here now it's going to ask you for the hot key. You're going to click in here. You're going to push Alt 1. That's it. So now you can go ahead and, and label that as stream if you want to. So let's click over here. Now, once we go to the stream deck itself, so what you're going to do is now you're going to go over and hit this icon that you just created and pay attention to the OBS where it says start streaming. It's streaming now. We're going to go ahead and stop the stream now. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and create one more hotkey. We're going to go ahead and create one more to stop stream. So we're going to go ahead and drag over the hotkey switch. We're going to click here to assign. We're going to push Alt 2, which is going to be our stop streaming. And we're going to go ahead and call it stop, right? So once that's done, we're going to click over here, give it a second or two to go ahead and take. We're going to come back to the, to the stream deck. We're going to hit start stream see it's starting now we're going to come over to the next one to hit stop stream boom yeah and there you go it's as simple as that and i'm not going to show you guys how to do the same thing for the recording because it's you actually go through the same exact process so if you're going to have a hot key for recording you drag the hot key over put whatever hot key put recording and it's, it's the exact same thing these buttons can be toggled for any source any scene any audio anything inside of obs all right so it's basically how you guys want to set it up and it's endless it's endless amount of ways to set this thing up man i mean it's completely endless so just take your time it's going to take some time for you to figure out what to do with what and where to put stuff at and get yourself organized because i'm still going through the process right now as we speak all right hope you guys liked the video like comment subscribe if there was any part of the video where you thought i could have done better let me know down in the comments criticism helps all right so, but until next time it's your boy scoop and get the stream decking people